Hey everyone, this is the Alcohol Free Life channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? My name's Terry G and thanks a lot for stopping by and watching. What I wanna talk about today, I wanna talk about misconceptions of recovery. And the first one I wanna talk about is that just because we stop drinking or physically putting alcohol down our mouth, that life should get better. That's all we have to do, put a plug in the jug. Well, that is true for a small little bitty amount of us, but the majority of us have to work the steps. Reach out for help, get a sponsor, go to therapy. Majority of us have to really work for our sobriety. If you wanna have a happy and joyous and free life, most of us, and probably you, I know I did, I had to work for it. The old saying is, if you sober up a drunken horse thief, he is still a horse thief. So we must change our life. We must change our life, really, if we wanna have a great life. So reach out, ask questions, don't give up on yourself. Change will come, sometimes it'll be slow, but you will have a great life, I guarantee it. The next one is, is that somehow alcoholism is a moral failure. And society looks at that like that too, but for some reason, Alcoholism is a moral failure. And all we have to do is hammer it, hammer it, hammer it with our willpower. Well, let me tell you something. I wish that was true too, but it's not. Alcoholism is not a moral fa failure and your willpower, if you have the disease of alcoholism, will not stop it, will not stop it. I believe I was genetically predisposed to it from birth. I believe that. And when I drink, my body chemically reacts to alcohol a lot different than other people. That's why it's an illness. It's acute, it will kill you. Willpower will not stop it. So it's not a moral issue or it's not a lack of willpower. It's an illness, much like cancer or diabetes. Really, really is. The third one is, is that relapse is a part of recovery. I hear about relapse all the time. I've been in 12-step programs for many, many years, and it sounds like relapse is a part of recovery. It's kind of was a part of my story, but it's never been a part of my recovery. Relapse is not a part of recovery. Relapse is the lack of recovery. You know, we relapse long before we actually pick up the drink. It's our inability to handle people, places, and things in our emotions that create a relapse. It's insanity that makes us relapse. And the reason people relapse is because really they're not in recovery. They're thinking about it, but they're really not in recovery. They're not working their steps. They haven't been totally honest with themselves. So they stay on the fringe of things. If you're in recovery and you're working your program, relapse will not be a part of it. Like I said in, in the other example of misconceptions. Recovery is hard. We need to walk through those difficult times and use our support systems to get us through that. And you will find out you will, you will have no need to relapse. So relapse is not really a part of recovery. And the last one is that because you come into a 12 step program that you will be always destined to have a mediocre life or life won't be that great or people won't trust you or Things like that, you know, things won't turn out properly for you. Things that you want in your life to happen. Well, let me tell you something. So just because you were a drunker one time, you're a down and out alcoholic, does not mean that you cannot have a successful life. It doesn't mean that. And if somebody tells you that, that because you were once an alcoholic and your life was shit, you're never gonna have a successful life, a family, be a family man, or have a woman having a baby and having a happy husband. Let me tell you something, that's a lie. Your chances of having a great life, being sober, are the same as anybody else. But you know something, I even think they're better because we have great support in 12-step programs. So that's the end of the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, can you please leave a comment? If you did enjoy it, can you leave a comment? But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? My name's Terry G. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, live your life to the fullest. A life without alcohol 
is a great, great life. And remember the last thing, live it one day at a time because that's all we have, people. That's what everybody has, just one day. Make it the fullest, make it the best day that you can. Thanks a lot for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Thank you.